Bell Hopkins of FunStretch.com here with Josh Williams. Now, you're here with the you were here with the '92 team for the first time back with DGM. But before we get to that, you unfortunately got rained here. There was a DNQ, but you just told me you're going to be actually giving me the five car. There's a driver swap. They're giving me the five car for tonight's. Well, hopefully tonight's race here at Daytona. Tell me about that. Yeah, um, you know the the weather wasn't on our side today, unfortunately. So um, '92 didn't have enough points to to be in the show with rain. Um, but, you know, we uh, end up working something out with the five and, uh, you know, appreciate everybody at Emerlin Gase, you know, Patrick and Joey uh, for putting me in their car tonight. And uh, hopefully we can put on a good show for them and have a good solid finish. Now, let's talk about going back to, I think it was the end of 2021, DGM Racing. There was a separation there. Can you tell me? I'm sure it was mutual, but can you tell me about what happened there? Yeah, yeah you know, I just kind of wanted to uh, explore some cup opportunities and, uh, you know, BJ's was a, a good spot for me to do that. And. Uh, you know, we, we had two of our cup starts here, you know, top 25s in both of them. So it worked out really good and, you know, just uh, come to an agreement with them to kind of work back over here at DGM and try to focus on the end of the year and see what next year brings. And tell me about how this deal came to be. You know, was it, were you, it, it seems kind of sudden. We just, everyone got the news like, hey, I'm going to be at Daytona with DGM. And everyone was like, oh, wait, what? So <laughs> how did that happen? It just seemed like it happened so abruptly. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, I had a, a big, um, big relationship with Mario for over the years, and it was just uh, a good fit, you know, and he had opportunities for us and some seats open, so we took advantage of that, and hopefully we can finish out the 22 teams and run so strong. There's a lot of cohesiveness with the team, especially with you. You guys seem to bond so well. I just saw it in the hauler. Is it just how comfortable does it feel to be back with the DGM racing team? Yeah, it feels really good, man. You know, we've uh, known each other for years. I've known Mario since I was a little kid, man, and uh, – you know, everybody on the team is great. We're all just one big giant family, and looking forward to seeing what comes of it. Can you tell me a little bit more about your future plans? Is it gonna? I know you're swapping with the 92 and the 36 for the rest of the year. Do you know for how many races, and what's your plans going on for 2023? Uh, not sure as of right now. Um, I think it's kind of going to be a mixed bag, you know, from here to the end of the season, and a 36 and a 92. So uh, we'll see how it works and try to build on it and see what we can come up with for 2023. Thanks, Josh. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit frontstretch.com for more great content.